the Battlefield franchise in recent years has been quite disappointed. So many players have looked for greener pastures in order to get the Battlefield fix. Many players erroneously call these games Battlefield Killers, but often they fail to live with their hype. The exception to Marvel 2019, which didn't kill Battlefield 5, the game was already dead when it came out, but it stole most of the large content creators, which I guess we could call killing it. But that aside, I don't think Battlefield is a Battlefield Killer per se, but I do think it has great potential to be an experience that many Battlefield players want. So what is Battlefield? Well, I describe it as fish between Battlefield and Squad. They don't know what ba Squad is. It just happens when you take Battlefield and push it to extreme realism and Squad play. Now you can say this is a benefit for those players looking for a more realistic experience, but for many casual players, it's too hard car, so it can be off putting. Now Squad maps are often larger and more expansive. That's the reason why these games have been often called walking simulators. You often die in a few shots and are killed by amps you often don't even know were there. These reasons and many more, like the lack of destruction, are why I can't really recommend it for the average Battlefield player. This is where Battlefield comes in. You see the death saw squad and are like, what if you push it a little bit back to the core Battlefield experience? These squad fixes main issue that squad has for casual players, but can be made the posits that squad has. For example, squad's issue of massive maps are fixed about as much smaller map sizes. The deaths are less punched in, as well as the ability of squad and squad mains means you are back in the action much faster. The outfit's more robot art style is also a benefit, as makes dying to hit the enemies less frustrating, as the buck art style means you're less likely to blend into the environment. Gunplay is also more key, and feels much more similar to Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4's gunplay. So while you aren't dropping people in 1 or 2, two shots, the DK still feels quite satisfying and quite great. Now how does Battlefield approach the Battlefield formula? So Battlefield borrows many of its class archetypes from Battlefield, so jumping into any class you should feel right at home. Each class fulfills a certain role in the sandbox, for example, Assault has access to breaching tools and the ability to launch grab hooks. With Battlefield but does to improve squad plays, add both squad and proximity chat. I can't tell you how much this one feature makes squad play so much better. A big problem with Battlefield is how hard it is to communicate with other people who are not in your squad. Another way Battlefield encourages squad play is by allowing you to drag your teammates and revive any player. You see, combine this with proximity chat and kind of days waiting to be maybe revived by blind medics. Now if you want to be revived, all you have to do is yell, MEDIC! I'll tell you, I've seen first on how this works. I've seen players run under fire to drag teammates out of danger and revive them. The game balances out by limiting the amount of bandages non-medics have and making them so revive times are much longer for non-medics. The game also does not have health regen, which you might say is a huge turnoff, but Precision Chat comes back into play. You just ask the dramatic to heal you, and it turns out they will heal you, so no more spamming, I NEED A MEDIC! In hopes that they will give you health or ammo, Proc Chat fix one of the main weaknesses of Battlefield squad play. Another part of the core Battlefield experience that Battlefield brings is destruction. Now many Battlefield crews lack discretion because often such systems are taxed on many engines, so often they're left out. Not only does Battlefield bring destruction, it takes full advantage of similar graphics, allowing for a lot greater amount of destruction. Almost everything you see can be destroyed on urban maps. Entire blocks can be reduced to rubble. This actually plays a massive part of the gameplay. For example, let's say a team has a stranglehold on an apartment complex. Simple. Just destroy the entire thing and force them off the structure. This is where Battlefield's large player comes out. With 150 to 200 players, you will struggle to find a fight. Now many of you 24 2 players are, might be having flashbacks, but you need not worry. This game actually takes account for its large player count with larger maps with a lot of cover and looks at crowning for you players to fight over. Maps feel a lot better than 24 2 while not dealing with the problems that 24 2 faced. Overall, if you're looking for your next battle fix and want something a bit more, then Battlefit may be your game. But anyway, guys, if you enjoy my content, make sure to like, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and join this Discord. All links are always in the description down below. And I'm the Fierce IPC, and peace.